Radio with me since. Genius Radio. Hello, geniuses. You're welcome back to the stream on Genius Radio TV. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss another Genius update. So, guys, let's dive right into what is happening between Reno Omokri and Saraki's wife, Toyin Saraki. So, guys, if you don't know who Toyin Saraki is, she is the beautiful wife of the ex Senate president, Bukola Saraki. And just in case you don't know who Reno Omokri is, Reno he is the ex media aide to ex Nigeria's president, Goodluck Jonathan. So, why are these two exes taking the spotlight today without the O's? Get Get ready, we're about to let you know. <laughs> So Reno Mokri, who is popular for criticizing the current administration and politicians in Nigeria, besides his ex-boss, Good Luck Jonathan, actually made yet another tweet, the platform which he uses to criticize politicians all the time. And he said in that particular tweet, very few photos speak of the sad state of Nigeria as this picture. This is Queen Elizabeth. She was born great. She demonstrates her greatness by what she is willing to do for herself at 93, while a lowly official, one told of her age is unwilling to do it. Hashtag table shaker hashtag Reno Dat. So in the picture which he shared, he shared a picture of Queen Elizabeth holding an umbrella for herself. And I'm sure you know who Queen Elizabeth is, the Queen of England, the majestic, born into riches, glorious Queen Elizabeth. In fact, in England, after God, the next person is the Queen of England. After God, the next person is the Queen of England. She's above all laws. She's a royalty. She's everything. Now, next to this picture is the picture of Tony Saraki and an oddly holding an umbrella for her, like covering her while the policeman is holding her bag. So what Renee Mokri was trying to do is to compare these two pictures and saying, oh, look at Queen Elizabeth that was, you know, that is more popular than you, that is glorious and everything, still willing to hold an umbrella for herself while you have your oddlies holding your umbrella and your bag for you. So reacting to this when Omokri tweet now gone viral is Mrs. Tony Saraki coming out on Twitter too to defend herself and she said, Mr. Bemi Go Reno Omokri, while I have never made your acquaintance, I am surprised to wake up this fine morning to dismiss just the position from you as an apparent pastor of the Mind of Christ Christian Center of California and Abuja. Indeed Mr. Omokri, your misadventure speaks more to the state of your mind and mischief that you would just oppose my picture approaching an airport receiving the line with that of her majesty queen elizabeth ii on a walkabout at the races she further went on to tweet a few facts i have never desired sought or solicited any public office whether highly or lowly while i am indeed 55 over half the age of her majesty queen elizabeth ii it is impossible in the nigeria of today that any woman may ascend to the throne of my royal ancestors since the time of your erstwhile appointed and remunerated perambulation as spokesman to the former president good luck jonathan Surely you have observed in person or virtually that the practices and principles requiring at least one hand free to engage with welcoming delegations. While you may not personally subscribe to the historic spirit of chivalry which Sir Walter Reg extended to the Queen Elizabeth I, hopefully chivalry is not completely dead in our gender challenge yet beloved nation. In the meantime, in the spirit of vision and of today's International Day of Tolerance, I'll leave your mischief with some humor and good cheer. Now reacting to Twin Saraki's reply, Renault Mokri tweeted, Dear Mrs. A Twin Saraki, I completely apologize. I did not know that it was you in the picture. Indeed, I know that your character is not like that. If I had known it was you, I would have investigated further. You are an epitome of a well brought up lady and I crave your forgiveness. Now guys, Reno Omokri's apology has brought many reactions on social media and some people are saying that, oh, that's a bold move, you're brave for apologizing and everything. While some are saying, oh, you're a hypocrite because now that is, you found that it was towing Saraki that was in that picture, you now decided to apologize when you know that this is the current state this is the same thing that happens everywhere in nigeria personally to me i feel like whosoever it is it is wrong most of our public office holders are always doing that thing especially the ladies having people hold umbrellas for them and hold their bags and so on and so forth and these are reputable police officers and they turn them into like handbag holders and stuff like that if it's you no know, possibly is another employee or whatsoever but not the sss assigned to you and not the um 
policemen who are assigned to you holding your bags. In fact, at multiple times, the Nigerian police force authorities have issued instructions to police to stop holding bags or carrying umbrellas for whosoever they are assigned to protect. Well, guys, that's just my own opinion. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Is it okay for these people to have people holding um, bags for them and holding umbrellas for them and treating them like gods? Or is it bad? Let me know in the comment section below. This is the Stream of Genius Radio TV. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to get more stories like this. This is our review with me since. Genius Radio.